Good morning, I'm uh, Francesca Campomazzola. I'm a PhD student in uh, Earth Science and Fluid Mechanics at the University of Trieste. The title of my talk is uh, Large Eddy Simulation on Turbulent Flu in a Sharp Meander Bay. My presentation is organized as follows. I start introducing the meandering uh, phenomena and the actual state of art about this fee. Then uh, I uh, describe my test case and uh, the numerical model uh, apply. I show the results uh, and explain the main flu and uh, secondary flu characteristics and the role of turbulence in uh, uh, this sharp uh, uh, meandering flu. At the end, I uh, underline what is our next goal. What is meandering? Yalini in 1992 defined meandering as a safe uh, induced plane deformation of a stream, which under ideal condition uh, is a periodic and symmetrical with respect to an axis X. This type of flow is uh, highly three dimensional, and the principal features are the formation of uh, uh, region of recirculation, the pulia, the presence of uh, uh, non-isotropic turbulent stresses and energetic coherent vortices, uh, the presence of an internal shear layer and uh, the establishment of a centrifugal secondary flow that deeply influences the flow behavior. This type of flow is a direct artwork close to the free surface and the inboard close to the bed. When the bed uh, is erodible, uh, the secondary flow deviates the motion of the sediment, creating a sequence of uh, uh, points bar near the inner bank and the pool here in, uh, at the outer bank. But when the bed is not erodible, a free vortex effect uh, prevails. At the entry of the bed, uh, the, um, the flow uh, at the inner bank accelerates relative to the outer bank and uh, the secondary flu uh, uh, drives a net transfer of momentum towards the, the outer bank. So the trend of uh, high velocity is uh, found near the inner bank and then uh, move uh, towards uh, uh, the outer bank proceeding downstream. In summary, we can define the meander wave evolution as a combination of uh, downstream and uh, outward migration. The numerical uh, uh, simulation of meandering river is a major topic in environmental engineering. The dynamic of meandering uh, has many practical consequences. Uh, it affects the bank stability and uh, the channel navigability. Uh, hence, it is uh, the subject of uh, a, number recent, uh, uh, a great number of uh, recent experimental and uh, theoretical studies. On the numerical side, the uh, investigation of meandering river and the river morphodynamic by means of larger dissimulation has found uh, an uh, uh, increasing interest uh, in the recent year. Uh, I uh, take we, uh, with reference the experimental work of Blanket. Uh, the, the, flume the experimental flume consists uh, a stray uh, inflow and, sorry, a stray inflow section, a curved, of a se uh, curved section of 193 degrees and uh, a uh, stray uh, outflow section or over a flat bed. The vertical uh, sidewalls are hydraulically smooth and uh, whereas the bed is hydraulically rough. The flow is uh, turbulent and uh, subcritical and uh, in the table are listed the, the um, hydraulic and uh, geometric uh, uh, parameters of the simulation and the grid characteristics. We uh, perform a large eddy simulation of an incompressibly uh, fully developed turbulent flow. The subgrid stresses are uh, parameterized by an eddy viscosity model uh, where the uh, dynamic uh, procedure is uh, implied. Uh, a wall area model uh, is uh, used uh, to mimic the, the solid wall uh, of the channel and uh, whereas for the bed uh, a modified log law is uh, used. No slip boundary conditions are imposed on uh, walls uh, whereas the free surface is treated as a horizontal impermeable uh, rigid lid where uh, the free slip conditions are applied. 
convective boundary condition is used the hot flow and the inflow boundi uh, boundaries are provided by the output of a simulation of uh, corresponding straight uh, open channel flow uh, using a periodic condition in the streamline direction. I showed, uh, now I show the results. In figure, uh, the stream of velocity at the free surface uh, and the uh, stream of velocity average the flow depth uh, are shown at the free surface. Um, I, uh, we, can sh uh, we can observe how the turbulent uh, channel flow enters the, the band and uh, um, and uh, the, uh, the secondary flow uh, give rise to, to a uh, centrifugal uh, secondary flow cells. And so the high velocity are found near the inner bank and then, uh, uh, the, then uh, it's, uh, uh, they are moving towards the, the outer bank. Uh, we can observe uh, as the main flu uh, detaches from the inner bank because of the formation of uh, an uh, internal uh, shear layer. For uh, a part and uh, uh, for a part and investigation of the flu field, the I highlight the vertical uh, the vertical uh, velocity the stream of vertical and the transverse uh, velocity uh, in the flow for uh, two uh, sections, 100 uh, degree section and uh, 180 degree section for uh, eight different uh, location um, of the vertical in the transverse uh, cross section. Uh, we can uh, show how the, uh, the existence of uh, uh, the formation of an internal uh, shear layer near the inner bank uh, due to the uh, strong curvature uh, of the um, geometry and uh, uh, has this uh, effect tend to vanish uh, in the downstream part of the bed. At the, at the free surface, uh, um, the vertical uh, vorticity um, uh, show the uh, flow structure over the, the key part of the flow. The vertical uh, uh, vorticity um, show the, the, the rotational structure of the secondary flow and uh, uh, we can observe uh, the detachment of the boundary shear uh, uh, layer near uh, the inner bank. Uh, in the figures, the vertical uh, velocity are represented for uh, six uh, cross-sectional uh, in uh, the flow. We, uh, we can show uh, an alternating uh, uh, pattern of uh, uh, upwelling and uh, downwelling near uh, the inner bank uh, because of uh, uh, this pattern is associated with the internal shear layer separated from the inner bank. Uh, in the, at the outer uh, um, bank, the flu is obviously dominated by downwelling uh, due to the um, motion of a secondary flu uh, and, and so the presence of the centrifugal uh, forces. Sorry. Uh, the stream of vorticity uh, showed the, uh, the complex structure of the um, secondary flu. Uh, we can uh, uh, show uh, the be a belt of positive uh, vorticity at the free uh, surface uh, and uh, it's identify uh, the, the, the internal shear layer. Uh, and uh, uh, we can show a, uh, the major area of negative uh, uh, vorticity. Uh, so it is uh, the, the central region cell and uh, the, the outer bank cell, an area of uh, uh, positive uh, vorticity near the outer bank. The results show as the outer bank uh, is uh, present in the upstream part of the band and then it uh, uh, loses strength proceeding uh, downstream. We know that the bed shear stress are uh, a measure of the forces exerted uh, at the bed. 
Uh, when the bed shear stress ex exceeds a critical value, then the, the motion uh, of sediment over the bed is initiated. Uh, given the hydraulically roughness of the bed, the equation of layer model can be directly applied to obtain the friction velocity. Uh, it is uh, based on the velocity uh, vector. So uh, in uh, figure, the spatial distribution of the friction factor uh, are shown. Uh, we observe uh, that the uh, friction, uh, the highest value of friction are found near the inner bank. Uh, since uh, in uh, this region, uh, the velocity are uh, the highest uh, because of uh, the strongly favored uh, pressure gradient uh, due to the uh, um, uh, curva to discontinuity. And as the uh, proceeding uh, downstream, the friction uh, became uh, uh, moderate equally distributed. In figures of uh, uh, Reynolds uh, shear stresses, uh, f uh, we can show for uh, the for the uh, stream transverse uh, um, stresses. Uh, and uh, a local increase of uh, uh, a local increase uh, um, of its value uh, because of uh, in this region uh, we where when the center region cell and the outer bank cell touch, uh, but this behavior is not observed in the uh, stream of vertical and uh, transverse vertical stresses uh, because of at the free surface the vertical velocity is equal to zero. For the transverse uh, vertical stress, we observe an uh, anti-symmetry along the bisector formed from the, um, the, uh, the corner formed from the free surface and the outer bank cells. And uh, the, whereas the um, uh, stream of vertical uh, stresses uh, show a clear uh, correlation with uh, the rotational scenes uh, uh, of the cross-sectional flu and uh, the outer bank cell fully coincides with uh, an area of uh, uh, negative uh, stream of vertical stresses. Now I present the turbulent kinetic uh, energy. In the upstream part of the curve uh, of the band, a, an uh, eruption of the turbulent kinetic uh, energy occurs. Uh, it uh, progressively um, increases, uh, moving uh, uh, towards the corner of the center region cell, and uh, it again uh, um, weakens the uh, proceeding uh, downstream. The high values are fine near uh, the band. For, uh, in order to provide uh, a, uh, the turbulence anisotropy and uh, the turbulent efficiency in uh, uh, turbulent stress production, the principal stresses and uh, the uh, so-called structure parameters are addressed now. The, uh, basically, the difference between the principal uh, uh, stresses are uh, defined as uh, a uh, measure of the uh, turbulence uh, anisotropy. The velocity fluctuation uh, near the free surface tends to be zero. Uh, we, uh, that causes uh, the transverse fluctuation to be dominant. As a consequence, uh, uh, and, uh, instead in the, at the outer uh, uh, bank, uh, an opposite uh, behavior is observed. As a consequence, uh, the, the turbulence anisotropy is the most pronounced uh, at the boundaries. So uh, the, the picture shows uh, also uh, the, the, uh, the increase of the turbulent uh, anisotropy at the touching of the, free, uh, uh, the center region and the outer bank cells and the other bank cells. And so uh, in this year uh, we have uh, a high anisotropy. The structure of uh, parameter is uh, defined as uh, the ratio of the magnitude of uh, shear stresses and uh, the twice uh, the, the turbulent kinetic energy. It's uh, roughly indicated the efficiency in uh, turbulent eddy in production of uh, turbulent shear stress. 
uh, it's an uh, indicator uh, uh, we can show a, an in, in, um, increase uh, value of the, uh, this uh, parameter uh, at the touch of the two mutually control rotating cells. And uh, uh, this uh, coincides where the uh, stream by uh, transverse uh, um, stresses uh, are uh, dominant, and uh, where the, uh, st the stream of vertical and the transverse vertical stresses uh, um, have a, a minor value. Uh, so uh, the, this uh, at the outer bank, uh, in the core of the outer bank, this uh, behavior is uh, the opposite. Uh, so there be it's clear that the outer bank cell itself uh, has uh, a um, uh, enhanced production of uh, uh, turbulence uh, shear stress uh, in the cross-sectional plane. The curved open channel flow exhibits a transverse inclination of the free uh, surface uh, that's moving, uh, uh, proceeding, uh, in, um, proceeding in the band. And uh, uh, it uh, causes uh, the establishment of a centrifugal secondary flow that deeply influences the flow behavior. Uh, at the moment, uh, the uh, this uh, problem is often addressed uh, uh, using uh, the rigid lead uh, assumption. But, uh, and so in this context, the super elevation effect is considered to be negligible. But it's not true in uh, general. In, uh, uh, we want to introduce the free surface elevation in the numerical model, imposing a hydrostatic pressure variation as a body force in the momentum equation. We carry out uh, so a large dissimulation of meandering flow using a simplified linearized condition on the free surface. We uh, allow to the reproduction of the dynamic of current without uh, the need to move the computational grid. Thank you for the attention. So um, when uh, the bed uh, is uh, uh, non-erodible, uh, we have uh, this uh, free vortex effect. And uh, so the we observe the high velocity and so the consequence uh, also the uh, friction uh, factor is uh, high near the inner bank and uh, uh, um, the high of uh, velocity uh, progressively move uh, uh, at the outer band proceeding downstream. But when the bed is erodible, uh, the, the secondary flow uh, creates uh, uh, a sequence of a point bar near the inner bank. And uh, uh, so uh, the deposition process is, uh, is a measure at the inner bank. But uh, at the outer band, the erosion uh, is big, and so uh, it creates uh, a sequence of uh, pulley art.
I uh, use the um, for uh, simulate the, the roughness of the, the bed. I uh, I use the uh, uh, this modify log row considering the roughness uh, of the, the bed. I try to do without this. Yes. Is necessary that I'm going to? Yes. Oh, because you are recording?